Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial on HTML. In many websites, you might have observed there will be a feature as soon you scroll down to the page, you might have seen there will be an option called go to top. When you click on that one, automatically page will be navigated to the top. There might be some other links as well. Just like in this example, as you can see, when I click on testimonial, it will take me to testimonial section. Similarly, if I click on contact, automatically it will take me to the contact section. This is another one of the most widely used feature in HTML. This can be achieved very easily using HTML features. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can achieve this one using HTML. For that one, first I have a basic structure of HTML here. So if I refresh the page, as you can see, nothing is there. We have a title, navigate two sections within HTML page. That's the only thing currently I have in my HTML page now. So let me add some content here. It's a simple text with some headers and paragraphs so that we can see how the navigation works within the page. When I save and refresh the page in a browser, you can see simple content with some headers and paragraphs and we have a contact address and testimonial here. The first thing what I want to do is when I click on a link which will be at the bottom that is go to top. When I click on that one it should take me to the top that is starting of the page. For that one you just need to do two simple steps. First thing is you need to provide a ID for where you want to navigate within a page. In this example, so this is a topmost section to where I want to navigate to the user when I click on go to top. For this one, I will add a ID as top section. Then you need to call this ID or link on click of some button or image or anything whichever you wish. In this example, I will just take a simple text. You can replace this one with any image or button or anything. As we need to navigate within the pages, hyperlinks help us to navigate between the pages. For that one, I need to have a anchor tag. So within this one, I will add a text as go to top section. Usually in hyperlinks, we'll provide a URL or link of any site. The same concept, we can use it here to navigate within a page between the sections. For that one, you just need to add ash and you can paste the ID whichever you would define for the top section in this example. So this is the same ID whichever I have defined for my top header section. So once you are done with these two steps, that is first you need to add an ID or unique identifier for the section to where you want to navigate and the link or click option for the user. So once you are done with this one, just refresh the page. And if you scroll down now, you can see there is a hyperlink which says go to top section. So when I click this one, you can observe that it is taking me to the top section. So this is how we can navigate between the section. Similarly, what I can do is I want to navigate to testimonial section and contact section for the user. For that one similar way, you can add two hyperlinks here. One is for contact and another one is for testimonial. Now we have a click options here. So within this uh, href, you need to define ash and then the ID name. So I'll add ash contact and testimonial within these two hyperlinks. So the same names or IDs need to be defined for the sections for which you want to navigate to the users. So for this contact section, when user clicks on this one, I want to navigate user to this contact information. So I can add an ID here with the same name contact. Similarly, I can copy the testimonial section. I want to navigate user to this testimonial paragraph. For that one, I will add an ID within this paragraph as testimonial. So now we have defined testimonial and contact within our page. So I will go back to my browser and when I refresh, I can see two links within my page. So let's test this one. When I click on contact, as you can see here, so page is redirecting me to the contact section. Similarly, if I click on testimonial, you can see it is taking me to the testimonial section. 
So this is a simple two-step process using which we can provide navigation which is widely used in many of the websites. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on like button, share it to others and subscribe to my channel.